Welcome back, everybody. Today, we're talking about Seeking Alpha's Alpha Pig stock service. And this is one that a few of you have asked me about before, but I had never used it and didn't really know much about it. So the folks at Seeking Alpha were nice enough to give me access to it so that I could check it out, dig into it, and create a review for you all. So in this video, we're gonna go over what Alpha Picks is, what you get with the service, who it's best for, and how much it costs. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, if you're familiar with Seeking Alpha, you know that they have what they call investing groups. And this is where investors can start their own paid communities based on their personal investment strategy. And basically, you get access to their portfolio, their analysis, and all their stock picks, which I'm now realizing is exactly what I'm giving away on this channel for free. So Alpha Picks is basically Seeking Alpha Alpha's own investing group and stock recommendation tool based on their unique criteria for picking stocks that will outperform the market. And up to this point, it's actually done a really good job of doing that, with Alpha Picks being up 186% versus the S&P's 57% since inception, which is about July of 2022. But even on the other time frames, it's the same story. Alpha Picks is up 86% versus 30% over the past year, up 65% versus 25% percent year to date, up 24% versus 12% over the last six months, up 26% versus 7% over the last three months, and up 13% versus 2% over the last month. So at least up to this point, Alpha Picks has performed very well and definitely outpaced the market. And just to caveat this, I will say from mid 2022 to about now, we've been in a market that's been pretty much up only, right? So it's impossible to know how exactly Alpha Picks will perform with maybe different market conditions. And that's not their fault necessarily, but it's just something we need to consider whenever we think about these things as investors. But in terms of what you get for Alpha Picks, obviously you get access to their existing Alpha Picks portfolio, plus the send you two new portfolio additions each month, as well as sell alerts when their ratings criteria shift, along with their ongoing up-to-date performance of how their portfolio was doing overall. In addition, you get access to exclusive webinars hosted by their quant team, which kind of reminds me of... That's my quant. Your what? My quantitative. My math specialist. Look at him. You notice anything different about him? But the point here is that it basically gets you access to Seeking Alpha's quant team, their stock picks, and the analysis behind them. And if you want to see some examples of stocks they've had, you had ones like Twilio, which is up 45% since February, but then also Okta, which is down about 14%. And it's not all just tech stocks either, with Brinker International being added in April and up over 145%. So it's like having a research team using their own proprietary quant method to help you pick stocks. And I think this is a really important point because to understand how you might get value out of the service, you have to think about how you would actually use the service. And they do a good job of showing you that up front with some examples of how to get started, saying things like buy at least five of the strong buy rated picks, buy the entire portfolio using the same allocations, or use it as an idea generation tool like a pre-screening service where you pick the ones from the list that meet your own strategy or criteria best. And this is a really important point to consider when you're evaluating a tool like Alpha Picks. When you look at total performance, it's been excellent, but that doesn't mean that every single stock pick is going to be a winner. And we've talked about this idea on the channel a lot. Like when you pick stocks, it's not about every single stock you pick being a winner. So you're going to have some that aren't. But the idea is that over time, if you have a good method, the winner should outpace the losers so that you can can outperform. And at least up to this point, Alpha Picks has done that based on their performance. But it's important to know that not every single pick is going to work out. And just as an example, if we look at some of the picks that were closed out, the biggest winner was up almost a thousand percent. And that was SMCI, believe it or not, added in November of 2022 and closed in March of 2024 before the accounting issues. But then the biggest loser was down 47 percent, which was Giga Cloud Technology. So you have to realize that when you're using it as a research service, a screen service, there's still a potential for loss. I mean, that doesn't change. But what you're getting is a portfolio that in aggregate has done very well with some very big winners, which shows that there's something to their method. So it's just something to consider as you figure out how exactly you would approach using their picks. But it is nice that with each of the picks, you can look at their detailed analysis to decide if it's something that makes sense for you if you're not just planning to recreate the whole portfolio. Now, let's talk about who the service is best for. And I think the easiest way to start is to talk about who the service doesn't make sense for. If you're just DCAing into index funds and you have no interest in picking individual stocks, then obviously 
this service isn't for you. If you've already decided that taking the risk of picking individual stocks or having someone else pick them for you is not something you wanna do, then that's totally fine. This just isn't for you. But in addition to that, if you're just starting out with investing and haven't built a foundation in your retirement accounts or are brand new to any of this, I would not recommend a stock research or stock picking service. And just to be clear, this has nothing to do with Seeking Alpha or Alpha Picks. This has everything to do with where you're personally at in your investing journey. Because look, picking stocks shouldn't be looked at as a lottery ticket to where you can go from being broke to being rich overnight. Because while that can happen, it's unlikely and tends to lead people to making very risky and poor decisions. So if you're just starting out, I wouldn't look to sign up for a service like this. Instead, just start investing every paycheck into simple index funds, focus on increasing your income so that you can contribute more over time. And then once you get a foundation set and you're experienced more when it comes to the market ups and downs, and you've built a little something for retirement, then come back to something like Alpha Picks and see if it meets your needs. And that's just me being honest with you. Like we need to be realistic about where we are in our investing journey. But now let's talk about who the service is actually best for. And they touch on it on their website where they say Alphapix is designed for buy and hold investors looking for capital appreciation. Alphapix does not require frequent trading and the Alphapix portfolio is not designed to generate dividend income. Alphabix covers multiple sectors and is not designed for single sector investors. But then what I would actually add to this is Alphapix is for people with a foundation already built that want to take some additional risk for the potential of additional return. And also people who want to try to outpace the market but either don't have the time or don't want to do all their own research. And then lastly, people who want individual stock ideas from a method that's proven to outperform and with enough capital to make the cost worth it. And this is going to be an important point that we get into next. So let's go ahead and talk about costs. Now, normally Alphapix costs $499 a year. And I know the first thing people are going to say is, why would I pay $499 a year when I can get all my stock picks on Twitter for free? Now, obviously, I'm kidding, kind of. But this is the type of criticism you see online anytime there's a paid for service. And what I would say is, if you see that $499, price tag and it looks really steep to you or doesn't really make sense, then I think it's one of those things where it's simply a service that doesn't really match up with your individual situation. But let me give you a couple examples to show you what I mean. Now, if you're at the stage where you're investing $100 or less every month into your brokerage, Alphapix is probably not going to be for you because at that point, you're going to be spending $500 of, say, your $1,200 total contribution on a stock picking service. So even if you double the market's overall return, which Alphapix has done up to this point at minimum, your $1,200 invested in a simple S&P 500 index fund, let's say that goes up 15% in the year, is now at $1,380. Whereas your $700, which is the $1,200 you contributed minus the $500 for Alphapix, invested in the Alphapix portfolio that doubles at, let's say, 30% gain, is now at $910. So yes, technically, you made $210 versus making $180, but at this level, it just doesn't make a lot of sense. But now let's take a different example. Let's say you're investing $1,000 every month. So $12,000 invested in a simple S&P index that goes up 15% in that year is now at $13,800. Whereas if you buy Alpha Picks, you're investing $11,500, which let's say again is double the market return at 30%. And that's now $14,950. So in that case, you spent $500 to earn an extra $1,150, which is obviously a net win. And if you're investing double that or 10x that, then the potential value is even more obvious. And of course, people will say, well, the return isn't guaranteed and you're taking on additional risk. And yes, of course, when you're picking individual stocks, you're taking on that additional risk. So there's a chance that your stock picks don't outperform or there's a chance that they outperform by a lot more. And that's why I said at the beginning of this is for people who have built their foundation and want to take additional risk. And and it's for people who are investing an amount of money where buying a $500 a year service makes sense for the potential gains. And that's why it matters because I see people criticize these type of things for just about any paid for service when at the end of the day, it really depends on your personal situation. But then just lastly, in terms of value of what I see for the Alpha Pick service, the other thing that you're getting back is your time. If you look at it as a research service where they're doing most of the legwork for you and it frees you up to not have to do all that analysis, but you still have have a chance to outpace the market, well, then it's just a simple math equation you have to do to see how much it's worth to you. Like, how many hours a year are you saving? Is it like 100 hours? That would only be about two hours a week for a full year. 
And if it saves you that 100 hours a year, that means you're paying Seeking Alpha about $5 an hour to do the research for you, which when you look at it like that, seems pretty attractive. So anyway, when it comes down to who the service makes sense for and the cost, it's gonna depend on your personal situation. You're gonna have people who see that price tag and they'll be like, I would never pay that, that's way out of my price range, whereas other people are gonna see it and the value is gonna be obvious to them. And speaking of value, right now Seeking Alpha is doing their Black Friday sale for both Alpha Picks and their premium service. Now we didn't talk about Seeking Alpha Premium in this video at all because I did a whole review video on it last year. So I'll link that in the description as well in case you wanted to go back and see it. But in terms of their Black Friday sale, they're doing 20% off of Alpha Picks and their premium service. So while Alpha Picks is normally $4.99, from now until December 5th, you can get it for $3.99 for the first year. Or if you use my affiliate link, you get an extra discount and it's only $3.59 for the first year. Also, you can get Seeking Alpha Premium, not including Alpha Picks, which is normally $299 for $239 for the first year, or actually $209 with my affiliate link for the first year. Then lastly, you can get the bundle of Alpha Picks and Premium together, which is normally $798 for $509 for the first year with my affiliate link. So they have some pretty good offers going on right now. But if you've never used Seeking Alpha, I would actually recommend just go create a free account, look around a little bit so that you get an idea of if it might make sense for you. But if you're in that group where stock picking and research service is attractive to you, both for the potential to outpace the market and to save you some time, then these deals are probably something you wanna take a look at. Now, I hope this review helped. I'll put my affiliate links for both Alpha Picks and Seeking Alpha Premium down in the description, and I'll answer any questions you might have in the comments. Hope you guys have a great day out there. Financial independence is true freedom, so keep building and stacking wins, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.